Hey TypeScript fans, in TypeScript 5.5 a new variable was introduced, a config variable, this one here, and um, it acts as a template for your configuration directory. That's why it's named config dear. And I want to show you where it makes sense because if you have a monorepo, then you may want to use it. Let me show you the use case. So I have a monorepository here with multiple packages, three at the moment, and I have business logic inside of this package here, the business package, and when I want to compile it, then I'm going here and I'm running just the TSC command, and that will then output the TypeScript code um, to JavaScript. And let me just run that, so I will change into my packages directory, then into the business package, and then I'm running npm run, and in my case, I can run the, the disk command. Yeah, that will clean uh, all the leftover files and then run the build process. So let's just run npm run dist. And then you will see that I have here my source directory, like a lot of new files, like the definition files. And I also have the JavaScript um, compiled output and I have the mapping files. So they all landed inside of my source directory, which I don't like. So that's why I'm running now npm run clean, just to get rid of these um, additional files, because I want to have it in a separate directory. And for this reason, I'm using the out dir configuration. And let's look at my TS config, because my TS config here extends a base config. And that's a common case for mono repositories, because in mono repos, you probably have specific uh, configurations uh, depending on the package that you're in. But uh, usually you have one set of rules that is uh, global for the whole mono repo. And this is also what I have set up here. So I have a TS config specific for this um, business uh, application here, for this business logic, but it extends a global one. And um, my idea would be to have the out here defined in a global one, so let's jump in this one here. And then here I will now make use of the out dir property, and I will set it to dist, so that my uh, compiled output lands in a dist directory. When I now run the npm run clean command here from my business um, logic, then we'll see the following. We'll see that uh, after compilation, oh, this was the clean command, I need to run the dist command, of course. We'll see then uh, that after compilation, there's a dist directory, but not inside of my package, like uh, where I wish um, it to be, but here on the top level. Yeah, and this is um, a problem because now um, this uh, TS config used the base config and used the out there here, which is then uh, relative to the location of the base configuration. And um, it can become problematic because now I have some dist files here like index.js uh, and so on. But if I jump into another package, let's say the API package, which also has a TS config that extends from the base config, then we'll see the following. If I just uh, go into packages, CD into API, and uh, if I run now here, npm run dist, then um, the output of this API will also land in the global dist directory, and then things can get overwritten. Yeah? If my API then also has an index, then this index overrides the index of my business package, and it all becomes a bit messed up. So that's why the um, TypeScript team thought about it and they introduced um, a template variable. Let me just uh, quickly delete here this, uh, this directory because I can now go into the um, TS uh, config, the base config, and uh, use here the config dir template variable. And this uh, will then be um, setting or set to the directory where my main configuration is for the specific project. So for example, here in the business application, I have a TS config and then config dir will be the directory of this TS config and not of the base one. So if I jump now into the packages and then the business package, and if I run now npm run this from here, then we'll see that I get a disk directory inside of my business package. And this is what I want, yeah? I want to have it uh, relative to the package that I'm in. And the config here, again, like uh, represents the folder where the um, closest TS config was found. What is very cool now is that I can go to the um, main section here of all my scripts. And in here, I can go to the main 
this goal that I have, and I'm using Learner, by the way. So if I'm running now this script here, then it will um, execute the dist um, script for all my packages here inside the monorepo. And uh, what we will see then is that all three of them, the API, the business, and the CLI app, will then uh, compile their outputs into the dist directory. Yeah? So now I have API with a dist directory, the business with a dist directory, and the CLI app with a dist directory. And that's pretty cool because now the compiled files are co-located here in a dist folder next to the source folder.